Hey, what's going on, guys? G. Casey here with another Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play episode. Let's go ahead and kick things off where we left off. We're going to go speak with Francil now. And it has been a little while since I've recorded, but if I remember right, I think we're heading over here to... Whoa, look at that. We're heading over here to um, figure out exactly where we can find our airship, I think. So let's keep going. I know I've been mixing it up a little bit on the channel recently. I hope you guys are okay with that. But I hope this will prove to you that I am not ditching Final Fantasy. <coughs> Still a game that I really want to get through <coughs> and get to the end, basically. So we will be doing it. It's just going to take a while. It's a big project, right? And sometimes the guy's got to take a little bit of a break to restore passion and that kind of thing. <clears throat> All right. Hello. Wonderful to see you again, wee guy. If there's anything I can do to repay you, name it. So the airship you seek is likely inside the Stone Vigil. It shames me to say that it was that it too was once an outpost held by House Halionar. In the chaos that followed the calamity, the Dravanian horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the Stone Vigil, House Durandare instead has been charged with the duty. Given that, I doubt my words will carry much weight with Lord Drillmont. Nevertheless, I will write you your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution. The Cravens who attempted to destroy House Halionar have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred towards us, and towards you now as well. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's true, eh? That's okay, so we'll head over to Brunadier, which... where are you? There he is. Okay, so we'll teleport up here, <clears throat> and then we'll just run across. Still haven't done those leave quests yet. I really should take care of them at some point. We've been level 40 for a long time, though. It is Christmas today, by the way, so Merry Christmas to you guys if you did not watch the other video uploaded. Something about Christmas just has me wanting to record videos. <clears throat> I don't know, like, I, I can't say for sure, guarantee, that every Christmas I have uploaded a video, but I can for sure, like, I do know that there's been several Christmases where I've recorded and uploaded at least one or two videos because, I don't know, it just feels like the right thing to do. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. But we've had a wonderful Christmas here. We're going to go out for supper with our family and things like that after. But during the day, after doing presents and stuff, dealing with the dogs, we're just relaxing a little bit before that meal. So I'm going to do some recording. <clears throat> There's Stone Vigil up there, by the way. Snow Cloak is one we'll be doing much later. All sorts of different uh, dungeons in this area. That was a pretty cool effect right there. As the sun came up over the mountain, it lit up the ground and everything. That was pretty neat. Just another example of how this game is just beautiful, especially for an MMO. Very, very nice. You desire an audience with Lord Drillmont, do you? Ha! I desire a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. Well, I have these letters. What do we have here? Letters from Lords Harshafont and Francel, is it? A likely... Oh, you're serious. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Level up, gain an attribute point, which we will continue to put into strength. Ye of little faith. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Drillmont's attentions are focused solely on the Stone Vigil at present. In any case, it is not my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to Sir Alboys. Yes, Sir Alboys can surely accommodate you. Seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. Hmm. Was that supposed to be a little bit suspicious? 
I wonder. Is she in here? Aha, there you are. <clears throat> Sir Brunadier bade you speak with me, did he? I know not why he presumed I would be in a better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Lord Drillmont hasn't the time to spend speaking with low-ranking knights such as I. However, he always has a moment to spare for Head Churian Astidian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? Uh, okay. Upstairs, like, in here? No? Up these stairs, then. Whoa, doors. Hello. Hey, Sid's here. Are you here to visit a patient, sir? What's this? Letters of introduction from House 4 Tomp and, and Haley and Art. With documents such as these, you needn't seek an escort. Pray, proceed to the barracks and speak with Sir Gordono. He knows Lord Drillmont's current whereabouts. Oh my god, can someone just send me to the right person? Please, Jesus. This guy's over here somewhere, apparently. Probably in this building. Just send me there in the first place, you know? None of you can help me. There he is. Hello. What reason do you have for barging into... Oh, I see. Well, you're in luck. Lord Drillmond is just up these stairs. Letters or no, though, I would not expect much. House Durandere as a whole does not hold adventurers in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and sufficiently. No, uh, show proper respect and it shall be returned in kind. Okay. Drillmont. Sir Godernu permitted your passage. Very well. Speak. You wish to brave a ruined outpost filled with scale skin to secure an airship that may or may not be there. Are you the avatar of the Fury herself? <clears throat> we are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, Lord Drillmont. You know our name, and you know our deeds. We are, we are come to Coerthus to slay Garuda, Lady of the Vortex. To that end, we seek the Enterprise, the airship of Master Sid Nan Garlon, who stands before you now. Master Garlon, you are alive, but that's impossible. Indeed it is, my lord. Gilliam. Do not be deceived by their honeyard, by their honeyard, honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. At this critical moment in Nishgardian history, as House Durandare marshals its forces to retake the Stone Vigil, who should appear in the white brim front but the three mysterious strangers? Sid Garlon, missing and presumed dead since before the Calamity, and two Scions of the Seventh Dawn, a defunct band of misfits recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses have been duped by these grandiose lies, but I should hope that House Durandere would have greater sense. I know not why these three seek the Stone Vigil, but I know we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, I nearly believe this mummer's farce. You three will not enter the outpost until we have rec reclaimed it, and until you declare your true intentions as well. It could be moons before House Durandere purges the dragons from the Stone Vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. Sid, we guy, we must do whatever it takes to earn Lord Drillmont's trust. Understood? Ah, <sighs> as always. More earning trust, and he's not going to talk to us, so we got to talk to his useless under people who will give us weird quests to go out and do things. Come now, you didn't think it would be that easy to earn Lord Dromont's trust, did you? Even if you are who you claim to be, it would be reckless for him to believe your story without question. 
At the very least, you ought to show your support, your support for House Durandere by culling feral crocs in our stead. A simple gesture like that would probably earn you the respect of Sir Clo Clotarian, as he's always struggling to find men to attend to the task. Why not give it a try? Alright, well, I see some other quest indicators around. I'm going to just make sure that there's nothing up here. So there may or may not be. Anything in here? Nope. Just a little campfire. Oh, hold on. If I'm going up here for nothing, that's going to suck a little bit. Yeah, nothing up here. Because it's, because it's Christmas, oh, I'm back in here. Uh, because it's Christmas, there's lots of people moving around in the hallways. There was a, I, I think somebody brought a dog to visit because I didn't recognize this dog's barking, but it was barking like a madman this morning at like 7.30 or 8 a.m. Um, in the hallways of our apartment, and it just completely triggered Thistle, which is a dog you hear now, into like a frothing puggle rage and woke everybody up factual folklore you the lad uh, you the lad responsible for that commotion upstairs aye word travels fast in white brim white brim front I gather you still wish to change Lord Dromont's mind if there's one thing I've learned about the man in my time here it's that he listens to and respects the opinions of those under his command win over the barracks and he's sure to take notice how you ask that's easy Serve the poor soul's decent fare for a change. The last few supply shipments contain no meat whatsoever, and the knights are rightfully beginning to complain. I'm thinking we could prepare them steaks using mud puppy tail meat. It wouldn't be a quality meal, tis true, but it'd be damn sight better than nothing. If you've a mind to lend a hand, why not await a lurking mud puppy in Danafin Pass? And take this bottle of vinegar. Locals say it weakens mud puppies by clogging their mucus glands, drying their skin. Okay. And Nivy. All by ourselves. Oh, it's you. Beg your pardon, sir, but I've heard whispers that you wish to prove yourself trustworthy to Lord Drillmont. Perhaps we can be of service to one another. I am a humble herald of House Halionart, you see, and I was to deliver a most important missive to White Brim Front. I was traveling along the road when a fearsome flurry of snow began to fall. As the curtains of white descended around me, a sudden gust of wind from the sea, uh, from the sea of clouds tore the parchment from my hands. I fell to my knees and groped blindly, hoping to recover it, but to no avail. It could not have been blown far from the road, but the wilds are treacherous and filled with terrors. I had no choice but to seek shelter here, and so I must ask you to recover the missive and deliver it to Lord Drillmont in my stead. Alright, lady. It looks like we've picked up all the quests that they want us to do. We're going to do a little bit of traveling around the area. We've got to go here. We've got to go here, and we've got to go down there. So, what's... The best thing to probably do is travel to Camp Dragonhead, and we'll go down and do that one first. And then we'll run on over and take care of these two and go back. And that'll probably be an episode for us, so look at that. It's not too bad. Alright, let's head south. It's starting to get dark in this game, as always. I like having it set to uh, Eorzea time, just to... I don't know, it feels kind of neat. So, we can see it's 7.30pm, starting to get dark. All right. Opportunity knocks. We just have to slay feral crocs. There they are. All right. Let's see if we still remember how to be a dragoon. Whoop. <laughs> Not quite. It's this one. There we go. Boom! Get wrecked, Croc. The big crit with the heel. And he's taken care of. Okay, so shift mouse click will actually close the distance. That's on a longer cooldown, of course.
we got him. Okay, let's hop on Mo the Chocobo and get going. Simple enough. Then we'll clear out this one, which is search for the lost ladder. And then we have to go down here. I remember things being a little bit confusing down there with the pathing, if I remember right anyway. But we'll figure it out. I don't think it's necessarily important to do this, but I like just getting the exclamation point out of my face. Look at all the side quests here. Someone mentioned in a comment, I think, that it's actually useless to do them all as well. Apparently doing all of those side quests would get you maybe like one level, one or one and a half levels or something like that, which, <clears throat> I don't know, doesn't seem worth it. Especially since you could just do a dungeon or something and that'll most likely just cover you. There it is. Uh, I did not want that to happen. I did not want to be chased by this chinchilla. Beating of wings. Messed up my combo a couple times in there, but whatever. It's not like it was too difficult. And next we head down this way. And look for a mud puppy, which we'll have to weaken with this vinegar. Puppy slain. Okay, so I guess uh, I was thinking about a different area because obviously this isn't uh, too complicated. We'll head over here and turn all this stuff in and I think that'll do it for the episode. We'll see. We shall see.
Nice night out here in Coworthus. I like it when the stars are all out like that. Like, there's crazy amounts of different stars. It's interesting. Alright, let's turn all this stuff in. Hello. A little bird tells me that you slew some crocs in an effort to curry my favor. I'm afraid you've been had, sir. That young fellow merely sought to shirk his duties. Still, your heart was in the right place, and it cannot be denied that the people of Coerthus are better off without those beasts. Very well, I will see that Lord Drillmont is made aware of your deeds. Do try to understand my lord's position, though. It is his responsibility to ensure that Whitebrim Front is prepared for every eventuality, be it an endless blizzard or a Trevanian assault. He will not put our efforts to retake the Stone Vigil at risk without good cause, which you have yet to give. Fair enough. It didn't work, did it? I I thought it was an idiotic idea. Yeah, it did work. Oh dear, remind me to never wander near mud puppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any road, this should only take a moment. I'll just need to do this, and this, and voila. Never seen a man cook steaks that fast, have you? Take these three and distribute them to the hungry knights here and up above. Okay. Here you go, Theophilane. You there, lad, don't think I didn't see you and the cook conspiring together. Let me make myself perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my trust with a steak... It would be my pleasure to oblige you. <laughs> okay. Mahaha, yes, I feel invig invigorated, refreshed, as if I have the strength of ten men and their wits besides. Aye, I should have no trouble concocting a new reason to refrain, refrain from sentry duty. <laughs> Ombeline. We ought to at least receive a hearty meal before we march off to die in this godforsaken waste. I agree, here you go. Is that fresh cooked steak? Haloni's blessing be upon you, my friend. Mud puppy meat or no, it's the most delicious food I've had in a fortnight. Ignamortal. Ever must we train to maintain our skill at arms, yet never are we to receive proper sustenance? You are a godsend, my friend. Too few appreciate that House Durandare must do more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. Okay, well that's three, so I think I can come back down here and turn it in, right? Yeah. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale, eh? Ah, but I've forgotten about the hard-working Churigans at the infirmary. So rarely do they take their meals here in the hall. Mind taking the steak to Sonota. She's doubtless so preoccupied with the health of her patients that she's neglected to attend her own. Sure. Um, is that over here? Okay. Charge! I brought you food. Beg your pardon, sir, but I'm busy attending this man. I will be with you in a moment. Is that? Come think about it, it's been quite a while since I last ate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll eat the rest right away. And I get raptor stew. I should be eating, by the way. I have not been eating my food. So that's a small chunk of lost experience. Alright, we'll come up here and talk to Drillmont and see if we have swayed him at all. I mean, we did like three quests. He should be swayed. Did I not make myself clear? Be gone from my sight, foreigner, or I shall have you removed. A missive? Give me that. Houses Fortom and Halion are hereby formally advised that all restrictions on employing foreign swords be... Hmm. These are not more than the ill-conceived notions of a hopeless romantic and a naive lordling. 
House Durandair would not even be in this position had not House Halyanart failed to hold a stone vigil. They would have us pit one horde against another. Nay, I say, we need, we need only Ishgardian steel to cleanse the realm of these godless heathens. Speak with Nibby. Lord Dromont rejected our proposal, didn't he? I could hear him shouting even from here. Alas, he is not the only one to heap disdain upon House Halianar. Ever since we lost the steel and stone vigils, we have been at the mercy of the other high houses. We should be the ones fighting to reclaim the lost outpost, yet it is House Durandair that must pay the price for our failure. But how can I bear Lord Dromont's harsh words back to Lord Francel? Ah, uh, mayhap I should remain here for the nonce. Okay, so what's our quest now then? We don't have one. It's over here. The best inventions. Alright guys, well... That's going to do it for this episode. What I'll do is I'll log out here so that in the next episode we'll see Sid right in front of us and we'll be ready to take on whatever quest he has for us. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. As always, leave comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see you next time.